No. Hey, everybody, I'm Steph. I'm Michael. Well, you can't I'm talk scared. because uh, you're <laughs> <at> <laughs> off. Actually, actually, uh, after uh, back when uh, they were they beheaded people, um, heads could be seen to be you know mouthing words and blinking for like a few seconds afterwards oh, until they finally died. <laughs> so anyway, we're gonna let's take a play look at guillotine. guillotine. No. Guillotine, not guillotine. Guilla guillotine. Guillotine. Guilla whatever. I've never played this game, so this is a. <laughs> Laura says true game. story. Yeah. <laughs> it's from Wizards of the Coast, otherwise known as the Hasborg. What? Hasbro. Wizards of the Coast. Isn't that magic? Yes. It is. Okay. Cool. Wizards of the Coast <laughs> did magic, and then they became Hasbro. So yeah, it's by Wizards. Hmm. So, I don't even know if they're still wizards now. I don't know if they've like gone on completely in the collective or not. But anyway, don't guillotine. Know. This is the older version of guillotine because I've had it forever. So uh, mm -hmm. someone said someone suggested that we play it, and hey, here we are. So my five hundredth new game this of this year, year. yeah, twenty twenty. And we're gonna is. and we're gonna stop at five hundred so we'll, that we can hit the ground on January first, running with the first, second, third, I already, fourth. I already prompted the people I'm playing online with to learn lots of games so I can oh, start they do, my new totals. They do still <laughs> use the brand name. This is just before Hasbro bought them. Oh, okay, gotcha. <laughs> so yeah, I know that they at one point that they didn't they like go from Wizards of the Coast to just Wizards, so. Anyway. I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, I used to do the whole magic thing and everything. I was uh, actually played, played it competitively. Anyway, we both start with five action cards and a lineup of 12 nobles. Hey, let's go to the overhead. Oh, overhead. Yeah. If I had the clicker, I'd do it. <laughs> Look, we've got our little guillotine here, and They're this lieutenant is die. the first noble in line. To die? So, yeah, it's a die. Hmm. They're all waiting to... To die. To die. So, what we do is we are going to... Actually, we should... Who is the first? Alexa, choose a random number. No. Alexa, <laughs> choose a random number. It's been six, literally, it, all night. It's six, six, six. Six, six. It's been six, six. And I am six. <laughs> you are six. Yeah, you are the high numbers. I'm the low numbers. Actually, it should be odds and even. She could be even because I'm pretty odd. Um, yeah. Yeah, she says, yeah. Um, on your turn, you will play an action card. One of the action cards from your hand, and you will do what it says. Mm. And then you will collect the first noble in line. Guess what just happened? Lieutenant's head just came off. Oh, no. And you will collect this lieutenant. Uh, you are just trying to maximize the number of points you get, and that is about it. And then we're going to get the next 12 nobles for the second day, and then the next 12 nobles for the third day. Just trying to basically get as many points as this possible. This is negative two points. Okay. That is negative two points. That's very perceptive. That's you. The player to the left of the person who started the previous day is the new first player. So you'll go first, then I'll go first, then you'll go first for the last day. Oh. Um, when, the third, when the third day is over, we're going to count up all the points on our noble cards and any action cards that might add or subtract from the point total. Whoever has the most points wins. You do have to play them in order to get the points for them. So uh, that is pretty much it. Let's talk about some of these nobles. So you've got different colored nobles. Um, the um, red is the military. Black are usually bad. The green uh, are the governors and stuff, and the purple, the royalty, and the blue are usually religious figures. Um, so the palace guards here, they have a special. Each of the palace guards is worth a number of points equal to the number of palace guards uh, in your score pile. So if you get both of these palace guards, that's four. If you get a third, that'll be nine. If you get four, it's 16. So it's really good. Uh, this tragic figure is worth minus one for every gray one, including this one. The rival executioner, you're going to collect the next one after you collect the rival executioner. Seems good. Uh, the clown, when you collect it, you get to put that in another player's score pile. That's all the special ones we have for this round. Um, Do Steph, these you have cards any go questions? Out in front of us? Like no, they are played one at a time. You're going to play one on your turn, and then you're going to collect the front noble in line. 
Dave says, how do you keep track of your gameplay? She uses, yeah, BG, BG stats. stats. Yep. But I also, I, there's... You don't log every play, though. There, there you is log a, one play. I log, uh, yeah, on BG, G, I log one play only. So However, I, you do keep track of all your games in BG stats. Yes, and on a four, on a geek list in BGG, it's called, like, Diversity... It's a diversity Diversity challenge. 2020, and then next year it'll be Diversity 2021. So if you search for that Diversity Challenge... I'm in there. And you'll I, see all I, 500 I, of her games and all of her, all, all 700 of, of your... I list unique. everything and how many of each play, and yeah, it's all there. Yeah. I, I mean, I don't I don't understand this question. This, I mean, this, this card, well, this twist of fate. Yes. So... Put an if I have an action card in front of me, you get to put it in the discard pile. Okay, so something stay out. Yes. Okay, see. So yeah, like, uh, you get like plus one point for every green noble in your pile. Hmm. Uh. But. And then you will draw one new action card, and your turn will be over. All right, I'm gonna do this. Political influence. Draw three additional action cards at the end of my turn. Do not collect a noble this turn. Draw three additional action cards. Wow. So I get four cards, I guess, because I normally get one. Yeah, you draw three additional. Yeah. So, so yeah, I get four. four. Okay. Wow, that's too many. Well, I need options. <laughs> that's too many. Hmm. Yeah, BG stats is the is really really good. That's really good. And I started using it. You should start using it twenty twenty one. See what you play, so you can do totals with me at the end of the year. Because I, I asked Michael to do his top favorite games that he's played this year, but he doesn't remember what he's played. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't keep track. No. Maybe I'll get go BG... back and read the blog. <laughs> Maybe I'll get BG stats. Yeah, I think you should. Maybe. You have to remember to put in the. Five games of gold fever that we played. Yes. So I'm going to move uh, this councilman forward up to three spaces in line. And then, and then off with him. his head. That's rude. To the discard pile. And I draw one up. Mm -hmm. I'll just, I'll add three, three nobles to the end of the line and take this guy. One, two, three. Oh, it's the Piss Boy, my favorite. <laughs> what? The Piss Boy. Wow. And then I get a card. Oh. Okay. Move a noble forward exactly two spaces in line, and then... Take him and then him. No. Oh yes. No. Do, 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 do. Line moves. So what if he can't move as far? Like if I had four movement and I moved him, would he just go to the front? Or I can't do it. What was that again? If I have a card that says move a noble exactly four exactly, places. Exactly then you can't do it. Can't you must be it. exactly four places in line. Okay, there so are I'm notice there are some notice this one here move a noble forward up to three places. Uh, okay, up to yeah. so yes. I got idiot. L idiot <laughs> move a noble forward up to two places in line. How about that governor, right? Yeah, I'm gonna just cod. Oh, I didn't draw a card. I need to get to five. Ooh. Yes, on BG stats you can uh, automatically sync BGG your actual BGG stats with the app, which is very nice. Ah, ha, ha. <laughs> Some of these are funny. I think you should lose a random noble. Of these two? Yeah. And then I'll take this sad, tragic figure. Oh, dang it. Wrong one. Lieutenant. <laughs> Time roller says this brings back memories. 
Ow. Ow. You know, Derek, if you started by the 31st, you would be starting by 2020. Two. Moving over backward up to two places. Oh, that's horrible. No. Yes. Dang, I didn't draw my card. I need to remember to draw my card up. I don't think I've been drawing either. Um, you should have seven cards, I think. I think. Eight? Seven? Five. Is it normal? Then three Plus additional, three. Okay, so you so should I have eight. Have, I should have eight. I do have eight. All right. Wow. One, two, three. Chop. Chop. The chopping block. Hmm. And draw. I'm going to do this because I like chaos. Mass confusion. Take these seven cards, shuffle, shuffle them, them up, and put out seven new ones. <laughs> In a new row. Put all of them in the into deck. the noble deck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh. I better take a picture of this game because I'm not. Otherwise, it never happened. It never happened. So, yeah, these uh, cards are starting to show a lot of wear. Totally. Seven, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. I'll take that. I get him, right? Yes, you do. It looks like the clown still wants to give his head off. Up at the head. So my new to me December list goes up on Friday, and then I'll have my top twenty-five games I learned this year. Off with her head. Uh, next, early next week. Off with the head. Marie is mine. I didn't take a card. How about that? Oh. Really? Really? What do I have? The count is worth plus two points if you have the countess also. Pushed. Pushed exactly two spaces in line. Oh! Cardinal. Off of their head. Who's a noble? Oh, the purple is a oh, noble? Huh? No, they're, they're, um, they're, well, uh, they're all nobles. Hmm. Okay. They're all nobles, but. There's some that say green nobles and purple nobles and blue nobles and gray ah, nobles. Okay. So they're all nobles. Minus two points for you. Why? That's a card in front of somebody, by the oh, way. Oh, that is. Shoot. Shoot. Shoot After monkey. you. Put the noble in the front of the line. Now, if you take that, it's... Okay, so there's two things. If you take it, it's going to go to me anyway. But you can do that, and then you'll take this landlord. Yeah. Let's so do it. that's fine. Let's do it. When does the round end? When this guy dies? Uh, yes. And then we do the second day. Do I keep all these cards? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. You don't, you don't lose your cards. Mm. Some are more noble than others, says Dan. Yes, yes, they are. <laughs> uh, off of this head. Off of this head. You know what? You can discard uh, two, two of your action cards. And that's the end of the day. Twelve new come out. Palace guard. Wealthy priest. Lord. The Lord, you draw an additional action card at the end of your turn after you collect the noble. Fast noble. He gets his head chopped off quickly. Collect an additional noble from the front of the line after you collect him. 
five, six. Seven. I got rid of two. Eight. Nine. Captain of the Guard. Add another noble when you kill him. Lady in Waiting. Draw an additional action card. It's like the uh, Lord. Mm. Robespierre. The day ends after you collect him. And the Master Spy. After each action card is played, you get to move him to the end of the line. He stays basically at the end of the line. Six, nine, twelve. And I start this stuff. Why do you start it? Because <clears throat> you ended it? No, because it's the second day. I start the second day. You start the third day. No. Oh, yeah. I am like losing. Why? Losing, losing. I'm going to put this card in front of me, and then I'm going to draw an action card whenever I collect a purple noble. That seems good. Mm -hmm. And to you. Move a noble forward four spaces. Holy mackerel. I'll take you. I bet you do, Pikachu. Pikachu. Well. She reminds me of like a Disney character. She does. Oh. Well. Some are more noble than others. Mm -hmm. I can't believe the overhead just been like working. It's been fantastic. Update's been great. You can probably tell that the OBS is a little different. I can't tell too much. I, the, the middle part, the bottom middle looks different. It's exactly. actually not bad. It's bigger. The bigger icons, which has been good because mm. it's been so small. Yeah, they have been small. Uh, I will just... Uh, I'll play this. Plus one for my green nobles. Yay, and I'll take this wow. sad, wealthy priest. What does this say? You're going to get to draw an additional action card at the end of your turn after you collect him. I like that. So in that case, I'm going to put an action card in the discard pile. In front of somebody, right? Boo. I'll just take him so I get an extra action two, card. Two action cards. Ooh, so I am going to collect an additional noble from the front of the line this turn. So I'm going to get him. Then that's a fast noble. Collect an additional noble from the front of the line after you collect this noble. And then this lieutenant. What? This is crazy. <laughs> She's not good. So she that was purple, so I'm going to get an additional action card. Why? No. What's him? Uh, and add another noble from the noble deck to the end of the line after you collect him. I'm going to choose a noble in line and discard it. Replace it with the top of the deck. Top of the deck is Duke. Three point Duke. That doesn't stink. Does not stink. Okay. No, this, this is bad. <laughs> that is bad. Well, hmm. I've got some good options. Um, move any noble in line to the front of the line, and then I'm going to collect Robes Pierre. The day ends after you collect this noble. No! Discard any remaining nobles in line. That's awful. And I get two cards because he is purple. The Tax Collector, the Palace Guard, Countess. I have the Count, just so you know, you don't want me to have the Countess. But you probably don't want me to have a Palace Guard either. Mm -hmm. Six, seven, eight. Hero of the People. 
is in line. Piss boy, sheriff. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Sure, I'll take the Countess. Move a purple noble forward two spaces. Boo. That keeps me from getting it, because that be, would be plus two, plus two. So, yeah. I'm already pretty much losing this, but that's fine. You don't know. Yeah, I do. If you put money on it, on Michael, you're probably going to get your money. <laughs> Move a noble forward exactly three spaces in line. Dink, dink, dink. And I will take the general. Boo. And add another noble. Oh, King Louis. All right. Let's do this. Randomly choose two nobles in line and discard them. Randomly rearrange the remaining nobles. Escape! <laughs> <laughs> They escaped the line! <laughs> <laughs> two out. Which two? These two. All right, show them. Here are oh, the pants. That's the one I wanted you to get. I didn't want that one. <laughs> well, then that's good because that's the one you're getting. Lame. Sheriff. The bad nun, the unpopular judge, the tax collector, the lady, the piss boy. King Louis, the sheriff, wow. and the palace guard. Yep. Wow. That would, this card would have been better like five minutes ago. Put an action card of your choice from the discard pile into my hand. Ooh, my hand. That seems good. What'd you take? Put any move any noble in line to the front of the line, but I will take the bad nun. No player may play an action card while the unpopular judge is at the front of the line. I can't play an action card. No, he sucks. <laughs> <laughs> He's very unpopular. I guess I still draw a card at the end of my turn, or no? Yep, whether or not you played one, you draw a card at the end of your turn. All right. So that was nice. That was not nice. <laughs> Ooh. What's the count? One, two, three. Hmm. What's the count? Is it this dude? Who? The count is this guy. That dude. The count is worth plus two if you also have oh, the counters. Oh, oh. Like, so they... I see. If, they, if you get them... He's two alone. They're eight together. Mm -hmm. My gray nobles are worth one point apiece. Give me that tax collector. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm going to randomly arrange these cards. You're trying for King Louis, so you're trying Maybe. to... Maybe. <laughs> or the uh, palace guard to keep it from me. Maybe. Maybe. Give me the five-pointer. This one. That's Ooh, a lady, and drop. you get an extra it's action card. Not that it really helps. Oh! No. No, Steph says... Put this card in front of you. Action cards that alter the line may not be played. I can get rid of it at any time, though. Uh, mm. And I'll draw my two cards. The day ends after I finish. <laughs> <laughs> no! That is it. Count them up. No, I lose yeah. so hard. <laughs> <sighs> Hopefully you did not hate it. No. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, so bad. Such a bad score. <laughs> Fifty-two. Forty-four. That wasn't so bad then. Mark it. Mark it on your Mark app. Mark it in the app. So these were one point instead of their normal values. That really helped. And these are worth one plus one each. So that really helps. I could have counted wrong too. Well. 10, 13, 15, 16, 17, 18. Maybe it was 34. It is 34. It was really bad. It is worse. <laughs> <laughs> so, back to the normal. Dan says, this is another game where you have a lot more control with two players. Yes. Yeah. Otherwise, it's just really chaotic. I really it's like really it at chaotic. two players. Yeah, it works. So, guillotine from it's Wizards fine. slash Hasbro. Yeah. It's fine. I like the different, the lots of different cards. Yes. Uh, I like that, you know, some that key on color, some that key on um, position. Um, there's there's some that, you know, like in the day, it's, if you know you're ahead, play it. Or if yeah, you know you're about to get killed worse, I was, end yeah, it. I just got that end of day card. I'm like, that's perfect. I there's, don't want you to get that red guard or whatever. There's one... Noble that ends the day and one action card that ends the day. Yeah. So um, I don't find it to be excessive. It just, it is what it is. It's light and it is enjoyable. Yeah. Uh, plays really quickly. Agreed. Agreed. A lot of times we don't, we, we, did, we don't even set up the guillotine. We just, you know, we know where the front of the line is. But it's a good prop to, I mean, cheap little cardboard prop. <laughs> These days it would have been a mini. <laughs> of a guillotine. Of a <laughs> guillotine. Yeah. All right. Well, that's exciting. We'll be right back. Be right back. 